This a second suspension here. Sophie, what's the, what's the deal? Well, like Carrie Lam warned a week ago, Rish, uh, this policy address will be unlike those in the past. She was interrupted for a second time as uh, Penn Democratic lawmakers uh, raised a commotion. Uh, chants were had, which uh, prompted a LegCo speaker to warn uh, disruptive members they would be ordered out of the House. So uh, another challenge for Mrs. Lam as she attempted to outline her blueprint, which would have taken more than an hour or so to outline 200 initiatives uh, that are to be announced. Now, more stimulus likely on the table to shore up the economy with ample fiscal reserves, about 148 billion U.S. dollars in the war chest. Uh, we're waiting to see, though, if this policy address may be canceled today, uh, given the challenges in the chamber itself, Rish. Yeah, and Sophie, some quite extraordinary scenes we've been seeing. One person even jumping up on, on the table there. And despite the, you know, the fiscal flexibility we've seen, such as overtures that may fall flat as these protesters continue to defy authorities, where does that put the government ahead of these district council elections in November? Well, Jules, with public sentiment as it is, uh, Carrie Lam's popularity uh, at record lows, uh, she is anticipating a defeat for pro-establishment lawmakers at the November 24th elections uh, with concerns around that, that there may even be delays uh, to that vote if the situation becomes even more fraught. Now, confidence then in her, in her leadership already dented. And if her blueprint today doesn't win hearts and minds, if it is even delivered, she may find herself in an even deeper crisis, similar to what former chief executive uh, Tung Shi Wah uh, experience in the 2000s when he made several policy missteps and misread public sentiment. So the stakes certainly high for Carrie Lam uh, with little clarity on solutions to break the impasse and the political dimension is becoming even tougher after uh, we saw the U.S. House pass three measures focused on Hong Kong to support protesters, including the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act, which saw China come out with a firm statement saying they would retaliate if the bill is passed by U.S. Congress, a vote is still pending in the Senate.